Hello and welcome to Talk to My Car, um, where we find ways of talking to your cars in languages that they understand um, using our equipment and skills and knowledge. Um, please allow me to begin by introducing you to our Facebook group forum. Uh, where you can join us for discussions about the type of work we do. Uh, if you need assistance or so you just want to give us some guidance on how we should do this work, please feel free to join. Um, and also feel free to uh, ask for uh, help where we can for example in the vision of wiring diagrams or factory repair manuals uh, we can share what we do have with you please feel free to contact us today um, we are going to have a chat about the knock sensor operation most modern vehicles from around 1990, 1991 onwards, i.e. with uh, EFI or computer controlled engine operations, they have knock sensors to help the computer know when the engine is pinging, when it's vibrating in, in, uh, in a way that it it will get engine knock um, briefly what follows is a description of uh, the knock sensor operation as we know it as we uh, talk to my can uh, know it now the sense uh, knock sensor this one here in this image is the equivalent of um, a microphone on the engine block on an engine block now it detects uh, vibration frequencies of the engine and passes that information to the engine control module the ECM directly as you can see here uh, to inform the computer when uh, e or when or if uh, engine knock conditions in either one or more uh, cylinders are existing or ongoing, and that will with using that information, the engine computer or ECM will change the ignition timing. Maybe it can retard it or bring it forward um, to prevent the engine knocking. Um, it's a, the sensor has a piezoelectric uh, kind of cell inside it. It's usually a two wire. Only one wire is shown in this image because in most designs uh, this would be this wire would be the signal wire and the ground would be achieved by the screw grooves on the engine block. So in some designs you see two wires uh, with the ground going back to the ECM in others like this one you see um, one wire but that means effectively the ground side of circuit is through the screws onto the engine block. Um, this image what we have here is a V6 engine, three cylinders on either bank. And uh, depending on the vibrations uh, this sensor is receiving from the engine block, it will change voltages on this wire it will change this signal wire which will be 5 volts but this sensor will change it depending on the frequency of the vibrations and that will inform the computer 
uh, if uh, engine knock conditions are existing because engine knock conditions exist at a, s a certain uh, range of frequencies of engine vibration so if the engine approaches those uh, that range the engine computer will change ignition timing to effect um, a, a move away from from the engine vibrating at those knock bracket uh, knock vibration frequencies um, roughly that's how we understand it works i hope you you have got the gist of, of that too briefly that's how we understand it um, when you when you have uh, if you bring your vehicle to talk to my car and we were able to diagnose it on our equipment and um, informed you that you have a knock sensor code uh, here is what you should check you should check the integrity of this wire here the signal wire you should check the ground connection usually that doesn't need checking if it's a one wire sensor because the ground will be on this side and usually that's secure all you have to do is maybe unscrew the sensor make sure uh, the screws grooves are clean and the grooves on the engine block are clean too and put it back uh, with the key on and engine off on this wire you should see 5 volts once this sensor is plugged out when you put it back that voltage should go down and it should if the engine is running uh, the voltages on this wire will keep fluctuating um, depending on what this sensor is picking from the what vibration this sensor is picking from the engine block um, briefly that's about it if you check that and it's, it's all fine and you still get that code uh, it's time to change the knock sensor as usual um, I always urge you to refer to manufacturer factory service manuals where you find wiring diagrams to check out some of these circuits the factory service manuals will contain much more information than just wiring diagrams they will contain instructions on what talk to turn which nuts uh, how to disassemble what, how to reassemble what, etc. etc. They are usually large volumes uh, of books. But because in this case we are interested in checking out the circuit for the knock sensor, you typically open um, the factory service manual for a vehicle and go to the page that describes uh, the circuit of this sensor. Uh, in today's case, I'm using a factory service manual for a 2JZ GTE engine. It's, uh, that's a Toyota engine. You find uh, 2JZ engines are usually six cylinder, six inline six cylinder uh, engines. Uh, you find them in vehicles like the Progress, Brevis, and um, and a few other high performance vehicles like the Supra as well. It could be a turbo or non turbo, but uh, the engine wiring is usually similar for the knock sensor at least. Uh, in this example here you have the ECM on this end and you have white wires coming out of pin 49 and pin 50 on that ECM and they are both white wires they will run all the way straight to the 
knock sensors this engine has two knock sensors one on either end uh, one will be front one will be rear and uh, in similar fashion to what we saw before um, this knock sensor is bolted onto the engine block where it gets its ground side of the connection so um, when you want to test the connections on this um, on the on the knock on the knock sensors of this vehicle all you have to do is follow these white wires check for voltages here when you unplug these wires from the computer side uh, at the computer you should see 5 volts when you unplug these same white wires at the sensor side you should see 5 volts once again to ensure that this to be sure that this uh, these wires are, have no breakages or have no corrosion or high resistance areas in them and then when you reconnect the sensors that 5 volts will drop a bit when you run the engine uh, the voltages on these wires will drift up and down depending on what these sensors are seeing if you see 5 volts all the time on these wires that means either these grounds are bad or the sensors are bad if you don't see 5 volts on these wires either the computer is bad or these wires are shorted to the ground so in, in, in either case you you know what uh, repair what further checks and repairs need to be done once again this is the URL to our URL to our Facebook group forum please join if you have any questions or have any advice for us or need assistance for example in acquiring some of these wiring diagrams that we have Thank you for your interest in our videos and any other products and services we offer. We are here to save you time, money and headaches. Uh, talk to my car. Um, you can reach us on this number below. Um, again, depending on what you require, we shall very gladly take your call. Or you can visit us at SSK Motor Garage in Chalwajela. Thank you for your attention to this video.